Hi, and what's up? In today's episode, I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be having for breakfast. Today, I'm going to be making for you crepes and it's going to be a very easy recipe with minimum effort and the outcome is going to be so delicious. If you're new here, I'm Scovia and I love showing you easy and amazing recipe and also welcome to my kitchen. Yeah, so to get started, I'm going to be using a few ingredients. So I have flour, sugar, salt, milk, eggs, and that is all. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to be starting off with the dry ingredients. So I'm going to add all-purpose flour, sugar. Next, I'm going to add salt. And you'll find everything listed in the description box down below. Using a whisk, I'm going to whisk all the ingredients to combine. Then in the center of my bowl, I'm going to make a well. I also have another crepe recipe. You can check the recipe out. Then I'm going to add two eggs. Using a whisk, I'm going to whisk in my eggs, adding milk at the same time. When I add half of the milk, I'm going to mix everything until combined. Then I'm going to add some more milk. As you can see, my butter is not lumpy at all. So this is what you want. You want a smooth butter for your crepes. Once I'm done, I'm going to move over to the stove top. So for this recipe, I'm going to be using cooking oil for uh, in my pan to make the crepes. If you check the last recipe, I used cooking spray, so you can use either. For this recipe, I'm just going to be using cooking oil. Yeah. If you don't want to add too much oil in your pan, you can use this hack. I'm going to add a little bit of oil in a small bowl, and then I'm going to be using a a brush to brush my pan this is when you don't want to add a lot of oil then i'm going to scoop out my butter into the pan once i add my butter in the pan immediately i'm going to swirl around the pan so that the butter can be evenly distributed in the pan so i'm using medium low flame I'm going to flip mine. Wow. So this is how it's looking. As you can see, it is so perfect and very thin. And then I'm going to spread some more oil in the pan. If you're not using a nonstick, please don't use the brush because the brush is going to burn. Swear. Make sure each corner of the pan is coated with the butter, just like that. And then give the crepe about one minute, flip, and then cook the other side for another one minute. And then I'm going to do the rest. So there you go guys, my crepes are looking just perfect and you can stuff the crepes with just about anything and they will be so delicious. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you try out this amazing crepe recipe and if you haven't watched the previous or yeah, if you haven't checked the previous recipe, you can check the recipe in the description box down below and if you enjoy watching my videos, don't forget to give my videos a like or a thumbs up. Yeah, so catch you on my next one. Bye.